Hey guys, just want to say welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed just kind of an easy, warm makeup look that I go through pretty detailed steps of what I'm using and how I'm using it, different tools and different products. I just want to do something that would be an easy look for almost any skin tone, but also for this time of year because it seems like the weather can't really make up its mind. I hope you guys are having a great week. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. It means the world to me. Like literally you have no idea how much it means to me and how hard I've worked at this and I just hope that you guys are getting what you want out of it so if there's anything I can do differently or if you guys have any tutorial requests please let me know because I'd love to do them all right without further ado let's get started that was done okay so I've already primed my face with my hangover rx and I also used my smith's minted rose lip balm so that way we could get through this just a little bit faster. I think I want to do for you just a really easy, natural looking smoky eye. I um, have been getting some requests that you guys are wanting some help with just some of the stuff that I'm doing, some of the products that you may need, and just things that could make your day-to-day -day routine with makeup a little bit easier. So that being said, I think the best way to start out and get nice even lines and everything lined up is to use your household tape. So we're going to start with this guy and I'm just going to take the tape on the back of my hand and pull it off just to remove any excess stickiness. We're going to apply the tape at the base of our lash line working up just following that natural line. So now that we've added tape where we don't want our eyeshadow to fall below, uh, we're going to go ahead and prime our eyelid. Today I'm going to be using MAC Paint Pot and Paint Trilly. These are one of my favorite things to use to prime. I know that Soft Okra is another popular one for me. MAC Paint Trilly just goes with my skin tone better. But we're going to want to push that all the way up to our eyebrow. really excited to be filming. I feel like, oh, just like, this is my like relaxation, as weird as that may sound, but it just feels so good to me to get on camera, start connecting with you guys. I've jumped up in subscribers, so it's really, really exciting and views and everything. And so I just want to, you know, obviously keep that energy going. So I'm excited to be filming tonight, even though I'm a little bit tired, which I don't know if you guys can tell probably by my voice, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'd do it all for you. I'm going to go ahead and say let's do our brows just because we want our primer to get nice and dry on our eyelids. So I'm just going to go in with Anastasia Dip Brow in Soft Brown. I have been going back to this stuff lately um, versus my brow is just because I feel like maybe it's faster um, and I feel like I don't have to work as hard to get the desired shape or color or look, however you want to put it. So I always just comb out my brows first. So I just use the lid and I kind of just like tap it off in there just to uh, get any excess off but make sure that it's like evenly distributed on her little brush. So I like to bring it forward just a little bit more just to complete the brow. I don't have a whole lot of hairs in between um, but it's okay because you can kind of fill them in and draw them in as you go. So you can see the difference what one brow makes versus no brow. And then you just want to use the spoolie in to go ahead and just comb through any excess product. Make sure it's all blended and very natural looking. I believe our primer is pretty much set and dried and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go in with Sala. We're gonna go in with bamboo first from MAC. It's just a really nice, like, natural, neutral color. It doesn't show up a whole lot on me, um, especially because, like, my skin's kind of dark right now. I got a spray and all that fun stuff. So, um, don't judge me. But, yeah, so we're going to go in with bamboo just as a transition color, kind of smear it on the crease. You can pull it down a little bit on the lid and then push it up a little bit in that higher crease area. Now I'm going to take soft brown, which is just going to be a deeper version of the bamboo, and go ahead and just blend that in that same area and keep it mostly concentrated in that higher upper crease area. Honestly, if you're going to go to MAC and just pick up a few shadows, this should be one of them. It's so great. 
And now I'm going to move on over. So that was my 224, my fluffy blending brush from MAC. And now we're going to use a brush that is just a little bit more tapered and a little, uh, it's a little more dense. So this is going to be the E25 blending brush from Sigma. And I'm just really digging like these deep reds. Um, so I want to take brown script first and we're going to just take that on the outer corner just to kind of like richen up that outer V. So I'm going to go ahead and darken up this inner corner as well. I want to deepen up the inner and outer corner, so I'm going to go ahead and take Saddle from MAC, and it's kind of more of like a warmer brown baby poop, baby poop color for sure. And I'm just going to tap that uh, right across that bridge area. And I like to leave these colors out just because we're definitely going to be using them underneath the lower lash line as well. Now I'm going to take this guy. This has become one of my favorite brushes. This is the E60 and it's a flat shader. It's like really just big and soft and fluffy, but it's the job done. So, and I'm taking MAC Mylar and I'm just going to put that on my upper brow bone. So I'm also going to tap it right on the center of my eyelid, just kind of where those blank spots are. And now we're going to take, I'm really excited to use this color. We are going to take Day Gleam from MAC. This is one of my new purchases and it's just like shimmery and gorgeous and I love it. And I like to just use my finger. It's a pressed pigment and just kind of press into it. And then we're just going to press that on to where we just added that Mylar color on the center of the lid. Then we're going to go ahead and pull up our tape. Ow. Ow. We're going to go ahead and do our foundation. And today I am going to use... Before I put on my foundation, so I did put on a primer, but I kind of wanted to show you guys how this Laura Mercier um, secret camouflage works that I... Um, showed in my haul and it's just because it's a really really great product and I feel like it needs demonstration so that you know how much you can appreciate it so I'm just gonna take like a stippling brush literally stippling brush from real techniques and I'm gonna stipple my brush into this lighter more like custardy shade um, just to press it into those kind of like weirder areas where I'm having problems with like coloration or any of that type of thing so Definitely always hit the sides of my nose. I guess you could say it's kind of like a pre-concealer. So, and I don't know if you guys can already see the difference. It reduced so much redness that I have um, on my nose. I think that a lot of that's coming from being sick. So some other places I like to hit are just on top of my eyebrows. So, and I'm gonna do a little on top of my cheeks just because I won't like be creasing my face anywhere along there. And so it can provide some cover up for me. Okay, so foundation, I'm gonna use, um, NARS Sheer Glow in Barcelona, I think. I've been messing with my colors so much lately because I just don't even know what's going on. So I'm going to use my Beauty Blender for this. I haven't decided my favorite way to apply this. I think with the NARS Sheer Glow, definitely a Beauty Blender for the sheer matte. I think the Sigma brush does a better job. It really just depends on my mood if I'm going to do my eyes first or my foundation first. I think when I'm in a hurry, I tend to do my foundation first, but for the most part, I usually like the results better when I do my eyes first. 
And now we're going to do concealer. So I'm just going to do the NARS Creamy Concealer and I'm going to use the shade Vanilla today just for like a little bit brighter highlight. Totally hot. I'm going to use my finger first to get it nice and blended in. All right, so this is pre-beauty blender. The most important step after you apply your concealer is going to be to set it. So I just like to use this tapered brush and my MAC uh, Medium Plus Mineralized Skin Finish and set both under eye areas break. Can we talk about how amazing this mug is from Starbucks? The lid for it though sucks, like it leaks and spills and stuff, so it's going to be an at-home mug, but it's so pretty, I love it. Now let's finish up our eyes. I'm going to go ahead and take this brush that we used the saddle with last and just kind of deepen up this inner and outer. I just want to make sure we didn't you know, lose any of that intensity from applying concealer. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy. This is a small tapered E45 from Sigma. And I'm going to take the soft brown shadow. And I want to just gently sweep it on my lower lash line. So the key with your lower lash line is just making sure everything is nice and blended and diffused. And you start with lighter colors and build up to darker colors. I'm going to go ahead and take this flat definer brush and I'm going to dip it into the, the brown script shade just to reach in, reach in, just to richen up that under eye kind of halo look we're trying to get. Mouth is open. <laughs> Okay, so I tried to keep it mostly MAC shades, but I do want like a blackish color to put uh, on my lower lash line, so I'm going to use Creep right there. Just kind of sultries it up a little bit. I have here my MAC 208, which is a really teeny tiny little eyeliner brush, and it's not clean, and I'm sorry, but this is real life. So the best advice I can give you when you're doing a winged liner is to be sure you're resting your arm on something just because that will help you stay more stable and help your line look better. So now we're going to apply some mascara and I'm going to use the Miss Manga Voluminous from L'Oreal. So to do my highlighting and contouring, I'm going to go ahead and just use my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Contour Kit and my Eda Brush. And I'm going to start with this shade right here to carve out my cheekbones. And for our highlight today, I'm just going to use this color over here. It's the lighter of the two highlight shades, and then this is the banana powder, but I want to use a little shimmer. So I'm going to take my F35 tapered brush, dip it in there. Oh my goodness, I am dropping everything. I'm going to take it down the center of my nose, a little bit in between my brows. You definitely want to keep any kind of shimmery powder off of any blemishes because it'll just make them stand out more. And then we're going to take it to the tops of the cheeks. And keep its bow. Just a little on the chin. 
Chin's not super important, but I just like to even out my highlights. Okay, so now that I've contoured and highlighted, we're gonna go ahead and dive into some blush. I've been really excited to use this color. Brand new from Kat Von D. It's Wish, and it's really pretty. And I just think it'll be like warm and peachy and natural looking with this look. Hopefully I'm right. So blush is gonna go right between that contour and highlight. We just want it right on the cheekbone. So blush can get really out of control really fast. Um, if you pull it too down, if you pull it too down, if you pull it too far down, it can make you look sloppy. If you um, just have it on the apples of your cheeks, you can almost look a little bit clowny. So my new thing is I start here and then I do it between my contour and highlight. And then if for any reason I need to kind of like clean it up a little bit, just because sometimes I have a heavy hand with blush, you're just gonna use your same contour brush to kind of like brush it up and blend the two colors together. And then if you wanna further just kind of like tighten it up, I use the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and just touch some of that right down here where I didn't want any powder, just to kind of lighten it up again. So I'm gonna use the Morning Coffee Lip Pencil from MAC just to line my lips. I never used to wear lip liner. I never used to wear lipstick for that matter. And now, like I can't not do it. It's so funny. Then I'm gonna go in with my NARS Audacious in Raquel. So this is just like a really pretty, like honey brown, um, peachy color that'll go great with this eye look, I think. I'm keeping it more towards the center. My lips, just because I want it to have that like really gradient effect from darker on the outside and then lighter on the inside. You can take like a little lip brush or like for me, I'll just grab that same lip pencil again and kind of like redefine the edges and the outsides. So a few other steps that I didn't do, but you can definitely do is set your eyebrows um, and also do like a setting spray, but yeah. So this is the finished look and I hope you guys love it. I'm actually probably gonna go wash it off after I take my selfies just because this girl's tired and I wanna go to bed. But I also wanted to film really bad. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and weekend and I'll be seeing you soon. Okay, bye. Fail.